Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, so for this one, I'm in the shading tab. I'm going to enable viewport shading. I've got Suzanne loaded with a material output, nothing connected to it just yet. And I also need to basically disable any lighting in the scene. And that's both from the scene itself and from the render. So we're going to start by pressing Shift A and searching for an emission shader. And then also a mix shader. Plug the mix shader into the output and the emission shader into the bottom slot. Then we need a transparent shader. And we're going to plug that into the second slot. And then for, uh, or sorry, in order to be able to control that, we're going to grab a layer weight node, a color ramp, and also the key to this one, a wireframe node. So these three are going to act as the mask to mix these two. So we're going to start by changing the value in the wireframe node to 0 0.001. Connect up the color ramp. Move the black value to position 0.99. Connect up the facing value from the layer weight to the color ramp. And the factor from the wire rate of wireframe to the blend and you can see now we've got our wireframe and it is emitting light you can see it casting light at the bottom there to give it a more digital look we can go for sort of a, a greeny color so it looks more like a hud display or something like that and we can boost the strength if we need to to get more detail from it so you can see we've got quite fine wireframe uh, detail there and i think Let's just move 0.995. Doesn't really make too much of a difference, but that's fine. So that's the entire node setup there for you to use. Um, I'll send that to render. And there we go, 21 seconds in all at 500 samples. You could increase that if you need more detail, but we've got that there. Now I did. Uh, leave the denoise activated which has kind of softened off some of this detail so I'm going to go back and turn that off and re-render it and there you go 20 seconds again but a lot more detail looks more uh, refined so there you go I hope you've enjoyed this one and we'll give the video a thumbs up before you go and of course subscribe and let your Blender friends know about this channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.